Hey Insomniacs, welcome back to the Insomniac Drive-In. My name is Ed, I am your curator of all fun things that have to do with the Insomniac Drive-In. And it's been a while since we talked, uh, it's been about six months. Um, and you know, things happen. Uh, I had some really good ideas for the, uh, for the channel and, you know, um, I got discouraged, uh, honestly. Uh, there wasn't the numbers there, um, and I just, it was tough to commit to uh, knowing that I had to watch a movie by, say, Wednesday so I could get a video up by Thursday, and it just, it wasn't working. It was, uh, it was more stressful than I wanted it to be. I was worried about, you know, subscriptions going up and all that kind of stuff, and I was like, ugh. So I took a break, and... Um, it's been about six months and I've had a lot of time to think about what I wanted to do with the channel. And I've also been watching a couple YouTube channels. I've been watching um, Camping with Steve, uh, which is a great, uh, a great channel. He does some stealth camping and just he's a, he's a really genuine good guy. And uh, I enjoy uh, watching those videos. I also uh, stumbled across another channel called The New 80s uh, Revolution by Jason uh, and I've been chatting with him here and there commenting on his videos and I really love his channel and I love his format and um, it kind of got me thinking about ways that I could do this channel and that's uh, that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna scrap a lot of the original plans we had for the channel and kind of go with um, a little more laid-back chill vibe to the channel um it's going to be uh you know every good channel does have some kind of a overall theme and i think the overall theme of this is how awesome it was to grow up in the 70s and 80s um being a kid in that time i was born in 1973 which i think was a really good year uh not because i was born in it obviously but because you were not, you were far enough into the 70s where I got to experience the 70s as a kid and then the 80s as a teenager. And, you know, the both of those two decades to me are two of the two of my favorite decades. Um, you uh, had the rise and fall of Saturday morning cartoons, um, the rise and fall of the video store, the rise and fall of the slasher films. You had Saturday morning cartoons in the 70s. In the 80s, you had afternoon syndicated cartoons. The toys were just amazing. And it was uh, such a pop culture -y. It was so cool. And there was so much to talk about. Um, you had Marvel and DC kind of just going nuts with their comic books. You had the resurgence of um the monster movies in the the late 70s early 80s the rise and fall of mom and pop video stores and i was there for so much of that and uh i think that's a good story to tell i don't know um i know there's a lot of channels out there that that do that and they maybe do it better i don't know but I have a lot of fun memories. Uh, my childhood was just so much fun. <laughs> you know, I was sick a lot and um, that prevented me from doing some like sports things and all that. And uh, I, so I was home a lot, but you know, I fell into this great world of Star Wars and superheroes and in the eighties wrestling, I was there for all of, just about all of Hulk Hulkamania. WrestleMania 2 was my first big wrestling thing, and I still watch wrestling today. I still love it. Um, so I just want to have fun with that. I don't want to get bogged down with saying uh, we're going to watch a movie this day or, you know, something like that, because it might not happen. Uh, you know, life brings you a lot of curveballs, and our life always has a lot of curveballs. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um there's a couple things that I do want to keep from uh, the previous version of this channel. Uh, I did like reading comics with you guys. Uh, I thought that was a lot of fun. 
uh, reading an old back issue off the rack that I have and then, you know, talking about it and showing you some panels and stuff. So we're definitely going to keep that in the mix. Uh, excuse me. Friday nights are such um, a fun night uh, for me because I go back and I do it the way that I used to do it as a as a, a young teen <laughs> or or younger even um i watch creature features uh they're on youtube um it's the original show that was hosted by bob wilkins and then uh now it's hosted by vincent and tangella and livingston and uh the movies are you know it's so much fun and it, it brings me back to that late night horror host um elvira and bizarre theater bizarre and uh, chiller theater and all that fun stuff and I do I do a double feature uh, but I've been doing it a, a different way lately and it's a lot of fun I'll do um, an episode of creature features then I'll do an old episode of wrestling and then I'll do the second creature feature so that hour there would, would used to been filled by the news when it was on tv but I like to throw an old wrestling in there uh, I'm watching everything on peacock uh, from the wwf I found a really great spreadsheet that has everything in chronological order and I'm only on where am I um I'm like early man in 1977 or I was still in 76 uh yeah I don't know I, I think it's it's around late 76 early 77 and uh I haven't seen any of that stuff before I always focused from like Hulk Hogan forward and uh it's great uh because like um uh, some wrestlers that I know are, are there. Kevin Sullivan's there. Stan Hansen. Bruno, obviously. And uh, we'll talk about that as we we um, we do stuff. So anyway, I do that on Friday nights. And I get a, a Jack's uh, frozen pizza. They've been around since the 60s. So there's that nostalgic factor there. And then usually some either orange soda or grape soda. Because that's what I loved as a kid. And I uh, turn the lights off and... Uh, I watch creature features, you know, it's a great time and it it reminds me of a time when I was a kid and like uh, you'd get the TV guide and you'd see like Gorgo <laughs> The the monster movie would be on Saturday night at like 1 a.m. And my bedtime was like 9 or 10 as a kid so I would you go to bed and we had this old alarm clock that I would set and uh, I would set it and I'd get up and I'd I'd get back out on the couch and I'd watch Gorgo or I would try to watch Gorgo. I'd probably fall back asleep. My parents didn't care. They knew I was going to, you know, I'd be on the couch. So still sleeping. Didn't matter where I was. So that's the kind of stuff that I want to do with this channel. I want to, um, I want to, I just want to share how much I enjoyed that time and how important it was to me. And I know, uh, you've had those same experiences. I know you have, all those great stories to tell too. And I want to hear your stories in the comments. And I want you to be a part of this journey too. Because if you see something that you don't like, I, I you're my friend. You can tell me. It's all, it's all good. You know, us Insomniacs have been doing this for a long time. Uh, I think I just passed the 16th or 17th anniversary of my original Insomniac page. That doesn't sound right. Maybe 14. I don't remember the original page is is long gone now but so that's the kind of stuff I, I want to do here and I I want to get into the habit of at least saying hi every day um, I, I don't I'm not gonna worry about the numbers if 10 of you watch this great if 20 of you watch this that's amazing um, I have one video on this channel it was the Aurora Godzilla model that I, I got at a, a con and it has like 1.6 thousand viewers that blows my mind that i have a video with that many viewers on it and if i get that that's that's out of the ballpark that's that's so awesome but i'm not trying for that i just want to i just want to talk and i just want to share and i want to have a place to do it and i want you to to be a part of it you know so if you like this and you're here you've already subscribed great if you're somebody just finding the channel please subscribe. That would be great. Um, it would be great to have you a part of this journey. So what's, uh, what is next? Well, Friday is going to be creature features. I don't know what the movies are yet. Um, I'm watching them in chronological order that they aired and I'm only on season one with Vincent. So 
Um, we're in episode 40 or something. And I'm also uh, on their app. You can go back and watch some of the original Bob Wilkins episodes. And uh, we have one more episode of that. So uh, if we end up watching that, I'm going to pair it with... Um, I know I know what the movies are, but we'll talk about that you know, later in the week. Um, I am going to have a special video of something I got in the mail off of eBay. Um, I got it at the end of last week, and it is uh, something I've been looking for for a very long time. Um, and it has to do with, with these guys. These guys. But uh, we'll get to that. We're going to share that tomorrow, I think. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's where we're at. I am really, I feel a lot more comfortable about the channel, less stressed about it, uh, that this is just going to be fun and just talking, um, and not trying to be something that I'm not, you know, I'm not a podcaster per se, and I'm not, I like to review I don't know all the ins and outs like this person used this kind of camera and um, the director did all these other films. I just know how things make me feel. And that's what I want the channel to be about. Uh, I'm going to share stuff with you from that I have. I have a whole house full of awesome, you know, toys and goodies and collectibles. And it's <clears throat> I don't collect one thing. I collect things that resonate with how I felt as a as a kid, um, whether it's an action figure or, um, you know, um, a t-shirt or something like that. Uh, it's how it makes me feel. And that's movies. That's, that's how I want to talk about movies and uh, comic books. And maybe we'll look at some old famous monsters of film land together. Who knows? It can be anything. But um, yeah. That's, I think, where we're going to go from here. Uh, we're just going to have fun. It's going to be real laid back. <clears throat> I'm not going to worry uh, about numbers. I'm not going to worry about uh, getting things out on a certain date. We're just going to do it. We're going to have fun. And that's the Insomniac Driving. This is uh, what what's up here. It's what's up here. It's what's in here. And I'm going to share that with you, okay? All right, you guys have a good night. Stay safe, Insomniacs. Watch the skies. You never know what's going to be out there. And we'll see you again tomorrow for a cool little eBay find.